What's going on guys? Thomas from My Scent CI. Today I'm stopping in to share a fragrance with you guys from the house of John Barbados. And that fragrance is John Barbados Double X John Barbados. Guys, this scent right here is magnificent. Uh, if you're interested in this review, stay tuned and we're going to dive right into it. welcome back for those that are returning I appreciate you for my new subscribers welcome to the channel on my channel we discuss all things fragrance whether they be fragrances from your online discounters or fragrances from your local rack room stores your local rack room stores are Burlington Marshalls TJ Maxx or Ross because believe it or not guys you can find great quality fragrances at a good price at these locations now guys today We'll be doing a review and a short discussion on the fragrance from the house of John Varvatos. And this fragrance is John Varvatos Double X. Yes, guys. This is, uh, let's check it out. It's 125 mil, 4.2 ounce. This is, uh, a EDT so this is the EDT nice solid bottle got a charm it comes in the front uh, the caps on there solid uh, but I still don't suggest you know you hold it by the cap it was a signia our logo on top of the cap with the double X John Varvatos uh, the atomizer is okay. It's okay. The fragrance inside of this bottle, guys, is, is magnificent. Uh, it is a warm, spicy, sweet. Uh, that's the characteristics of a, a blue fragrance. Uh, kind of puts me in the mind of, uh, you know, uh, your Versace, Dylan Blue, uh, your Chanel, your Blue Day Chanel, uh, but the opening is, is sweet, you know, one of the top notes is, uh, Red Apple, and it has cardamom, uh, but this is a nice fragrance, and, I think this is a fragrance you can wear uh, any occasion. Uh, pretty much due to the weight I think this scent has, you can pull it off uh, all year round, you know. I don't think it'll be too cloying in, in summer. Most definitely it's suitable for winter, fall, spring. So overall guys, I think this is a fragrance you can wear year round. Something that's versatile. Like I say, I think you can dress it up or dress it down. Uh, I did pick this fragrance up from Joe Miss Shop. Uh, I think I got it for 20, like $26, which is a steal. You know, I ran across it in the rack room stores. I think it was running, uh, $39.99, $45 or somewhere in that nature, uh, that price range. And I have the John Varvatos Vintage. Uh, I have been checking this one out. Uh, one of my subscribers commented in one of the videos that this is one of their favorite fragrances, the one in the black bottle. And I smelt it a few times in Sephora. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not uh, Sephora, but Alta. And just hadn't pulled the trigger on it. And I seen it for the price on Joe's shop for 20, it was 20 something dollars. So I went on and got it. And I'm very pleased with it. It's something that you can grab, like I say, and spray on and go. It can be a signature scent. 
Uh, like I say, guys, the opening is sweet. You know, you get that warm spiciness that comes from this fragrance. Let's go over the notes. Okay, the main accords of this fragrance is woody, warm, spicy, fruity, coffee, powdery, aromatic, violet, sweet, white floral, and fresh. Now in this fragrance, I don't pick up the coffee. Uh, I don't pick up any floral notes. I do pick up the water, the woody accords, uh, the warm spiciness, the fruity, uh, the violet. I'm picking up all those accords, but uh, the floral and the coffee, I'm, I'm really not picking up. But your top notes are red, apple, black currant, cardamom. Uh, the middle notes are white, violet, orange blossom, geranium. Your base note is coffee, sandalwood, and cedar. So pretty much, guys, that's your woods, uh, the sandalwood, uh, the white violet. But the opening is pretty much the red apple. I can kind of pick up the black currant coming through the cardamom. I picked that up. Overall, like I say, I think this is a, a wonderful fragrance, guys. Uh, if you don't have John Barbados in your collection, uh, you know, this is a designer house and I think it's, it's you know, collection work. Uh, this the only one that I have from the double X. Thinking about picking up a couple more from this line, the double X. I heard uh, the blue one is pretty good. Uh, and I forget the other one. I got the blue one and I think it's one more from the double X. Might just be the black and blue. I think those are the only ones. I'm trying to scan right quick and see. Yeah, I, I think those are the only ones, the black and the blue one. So I might end up picking up the blue one too. We'll just have to see on that one. But as far as this one, the one in the black bottle, I'm pleased with it. You know, and guys, if, if y'all had a blue one, I really can't recall how the blue one smell. Get in the comments and let us know uh, which one y'all prefer, uh, the black or the blue one. I, I, I smelt the blue one, but I can't recall uh, the scent. But this one right here, I'm pleased with. You know, which one, which one did y'all like best the black or the blue i think the blue one is more of a summer fragrance uh maybe more of a fresh uh but guys that's what i want to do uh well let's go to performance the performance on this one when i wore it i got good seven plus hours out of this fragrance uh the projection was a good hour hour and a half uh left a, a decent siage you know it seemed as though when i sprayed it on i still can smell smell the trail that it was leaving now in the opening it projects strong it's it's it's, it's a good projector you know like i say within that first hour hour and a half and when i wore the work On my way home, I still can smell it, but it was on my clothes. So on my skin, it became a skin scent. So it, it, it passes uh, moderate performance. It most definitely, most definitely does. It passes the moderate performance. But overall, like I say, uh, I think it's, it's collection worthy and it's a good fragrance to add to your collection. If you like, uh, those classes of fragrance. To me, like I say, this one puts me in the mind of the Versace Dylan Blue, your Blue de Chanel, uh, 
a little more sweeter. I think, you know, than the Dylan Blue. Uh, but it puts me in the mind of, of that category with this one. And like I said, I, I think this one is considered to be like a blue fragrance. Uh, but it's a good one, yes. So, guys, I just want to stop in and share this video with y'all on this fragrance uh, from the house of John Varvados. Uh, you know, like I say, get in the comment, guys, and, and let me know what y'all think of this fragrance. Uh, how would you even think of the house, John Varvados? You know, do you think they have good fragrances? Uh, this one and my John Varvados Vintage uh, are the only two fragrances I have from the house. And they're good fragrances, especially this one in the Vintage. Uh, but, like always, guys, I appreciate y'all stopping in checking out the content. Uh, I'm trying to put out more videos a week. Typically, I put out one to two videos a week. I'm trying to, you know, produce a little more content, you know. some Sometimes my weeks be a little long, guys, with family and work, you know, and trying to get the videos together and stuff. But that's my goal to at least, you know, increase the, the, the output of the content, you know. But, like always, I appreciate y'all rocking with me, checking out the content, you know. Please, always, uh, subscribe, you know, comment, share, like the videos, and, you know, I appreciate y'all. And peace, we'll catch you next time.